Hey guys, this is Shainu. Today I'll be showing you how to set up a custom domain for your GitHub page using Freedom as your free domain service. All right, so I kind of wanted to give you guys an overview of why I created this website and the reason for it is that uh, YouTube comments is not the best way to reach out to me if you have a question. And I understand many of you you know, have different error messages and different uh, steps of my video. So I rather you guys reach out to me directly than putting a comment and hoping that I reach out uh, because I might not see it as, you know, YouTube comments are not the best or uh, dependent service that YouTube provides. So I'm hoping that you guys will come to my website and then use the uh, messenger chat plugin to reach out to me um, and I have created a YouTube video on how to set up a um, chat plugin for your website if you would want to do that for yourself so anyway without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and go into the tutorial so first thing you need to do is you need to go to freenum.com all right and then sign up an account there so I'm not gonna do that obviously I have an account here already um, so once signed up you will be landed to this page right here go to services and then to register a new domain once the page is loaded just type in the domain that you want to use for your website I'm just gonna do the great shiny um, and then select the check availability. So as you can see, there's five options that I can choose from that is completely free for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the .ga and then .tk and then select the checkout option. And here you have the option to change the period. So if you are someone who you know, hates coming back and doing all these extra steps. You want to select like 10 years and, you know, forget about it. Or you can be cheap like me and then select the 12 months, put a reminder on your calendar to remind you every year on the on the 12 8 to update your period for Freenum domain and, you know, that should do the trick. So I'm going to go ahead and select continue for those sites and it's going to, you know, say it's in the shopping cart, select the I have read and agree the terms and condition and select complete order. I'm going to do that now. Uh, here we are unable to verify you as a human. I might have did this multiple times and <laughs> could be that. That's probably why. Obviously, you're got, you guys are not going to have the same issues. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, try this one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm going to show you what I already have set up in my domain. So... Um, apparently it doesn't think that I'm a human so I'm gonna <laughs> um, you know maybe just do one domain at a time rather than what I did just now after you know you completed the checkout you can go to services and then to my domains which as you can see I already have two domains set up uh, for this uh, tutorial here I'm gonna select manage domain for the domain that I want to configure and then go to manage freenom DNS here what you would need to do is you need to Select the type, make it C name, type in for the name www dot, and then target will be shinu.ga, just like the domain name here. And I'm just going to select save changes. All right, once the record added, you know, successfully, you can go to GitHub, to your repo, and then to settings. Scroll all the way down to where you would see GitHub pages. And as of right now, I have it, you know, published at my github.io. I'm just going to uh, select the custom domain and type in www.shinu.ga and then hit the save button. And it says the custom domain has been saved. I'm going to scroll down to see if it actually did. Um, and here I'm getting this issue. It's saying that your site DNS setting are using a custom subdomains. That's not set up with the correct CNAME record. We recommend you set this CNAME record to point your username.github.io for more information, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's do this. So th what they're saying is that instead of the target being, you know, the subdomain, you should just make it the github page so I'm, let's just try to do that and see if it's going to get rid of that error message there so i'm going to select save changes and it has you know, it got saved i'm going to go ahead and then make this maybe shinu.ga just to see what it's going to tell me now um, or see if there's going to be even an error message so i'm going to scroll down and let's see what they have here 
domain DNS record cannot be retrieved for more information, blah, blah, blah. So the reason why that is because you have to have the www dot um, in front of it or else it's just not going to work. So let's just try to redo that again with the www dot. And voila, it's actually published now. So I, I do apologize for the couple of steps here and there. Um, so if I was to go to this link right now, it should load my web page without an issue. And the reason why the Messenger chat plugin haven't showed up is because when you initially set up your plugin, you need to put the domain name so that it can whitelist it. Um, that's a tutorial that you can watch in the description below or in my related videos to kind of redo the steps if you would like. All right, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.